Intel's X99 chipsets and Broadwell E CPUs have been around quite a while now. But this summer, Intel introduced the new Core X series. These high-end desktop CPUs feature a ton of cores and cache and are aimed at well-heeled PC enthusiasts and digital creatives. In this tech spec, we're going to take a closer look at these new CPUs and what makes them tick. The Intel Core X series comprises of five CPUs at launch, with more models scheduled for release later in 2017. Unusually, the initial models span three brands, Core i5, i7 and i9, and two different architectures, KB Lake X and Skylake X. The first two Core X processors use the KB Lake X architecture, which means like KB Lake CPUs such as the Core i7-7700K, they only support dual channel memory and 16 PCIe lanes. However, with four cores, the new Core i5-7640X and four cores plus hyper-threading Core i7-7740X are a lot more affordable than other Core X CPUs. Unlike standard KB Lake CPUs, the new KB Lake X CPUs use the same new LGA2066 socket as other Core X CPUs, so you'll need a new motherboard based on the Intel X299 chipset. With Intel disabling the onboard GPU in the factory, plus the larger heat spreader of the LGA2066 socket, KB Lake X CPUs are great for overclocking too. In our early test, the Core i7-7740X would happily run benchmarks all day long at 5GHz, which is about 200MHz better than a Core i7-7700K. Here are the key specifications of the two KB Lake X CPUs. Both have a very similar configuration, with the Core i7-7740X benefiting from hyper-threading, which will boost performance in heavily multi-threaded applications and 300 MHz more on the clock speed. So how do these new KB Lake X-based Core X CPUs perform? Our 3XS systems engineers found that thanks to the KB Lake X CPUs having such similar specifications to KB Lake CPUs, they also perform very similarly too. For instance, in encoding videos with Handbrake, the new Core i7-7740X performed almost identically to the Core i7-7700K, and in the 3D rendering test, Cinebench was less than 1% faster. Intel's Core X CPUs, which are based on the KB Lake X architecture, are an unusual proposition in that they offer quad-core performance, dual-channel DDR4 memory and only 16 PCIe lanes, yet require an expensive X299 motherboard. Even so, they may be worth considering if you can only afford a quad-core CPU now, but think you may need to upgrade to a CPU with more cores in the future. Alongside the two aforementioned KB Lake X CPUs, the Core X also has three Skylake X processors. These CPUs are much more interesting, as Intel has made some significant enhancements to the Skylake X architecture. One interesting new feature in Skylake X is support for the AVX512 instruction set. These complex SIMD instructions are right now only commonly found in enterprise class applications but as time goes on, are likely to be used in consumer applications too. The Core i9 CPU goes one stage further and has a dedicated ACX512 unit, though this consumes so much power that the CPU may not be able to turbo when processing AVX512 instructions. Skylake X CPUs also have double the number of vector data registers as Broadwell E processors, with each register being doubled the width for an approximate four times increase in throughput. Intel has also reworked the cache configuration in Skylake X CPUs. They still have three tiers of cache, but the relative size and operation has been changed considerably. For instance, instead of having a small 256 kilobyte level 2 cache and a large 2.5 megabyte level 2 cache as previous Intel CPUs have had, Skylake X CPUs have a much larger 1 megabyte level 2 cache and a smaller 1.375 megabyte level 3 cache. This means that more frequently used data is stored closer to the CPU. And as a level 2 cache is much faster than a level 3 cache, this results in higher overall CPU throughput. Skylake X also features a new interconnect for the cores, memory controller and I.O. to communicate with one another. Instead of using a ring bus, the new system uses a mesh to link everything inside the CPU together. 
This new mesh interconnect has lower latency and higher bandwidth than the old ring bus interconnect and will make it much easier to add extra cores, which is important as CPU core count increases year on year. The new mesh design should also boost performance in applications that share a lot of data between cores. The initial lineup of Skylake X-based Core X processors includes three processors, the Core i7, 7800X and 7820X and the Core i9, 7900X. The common thread linking all these models together is support for quad-channel DDR4 memory and unlock multipliers for huge overclocks but thereafter the specs differ in terms of the number of cores, cache and PCIe lanes, as detailed in this table. One thing to watch out for is that only the Core i9-7900X has 44 PCIe 3.0 lanes, an important consideration if you're planning on using multiple graphics cards. So how do these new Skylake X-based Core X CPUs perform? In heavily multi-threaded tasks such as video encoding and 3D rendering, the Skylake X CPUs are incredibly fast. For instance, the flagship 10-core Core i9-7900X finished the Cinebench R15 rendering test with a record score of 2180. This is a significant 18% faster than this chip's predecessor, the Core i7-6950X, and even better when you consider that the old chip was £350 more expensive. In short, Skylake X CPUs will crunch through whatever multi-threaded tasks you throw at them, so they're a great choice for content creators and anybody who runs lots of games or applications at the same time. The first three Skylake X-based Core X processors are a massive improvement over their Broadwell E-based predecessors. They're overclocked higher, so perform significantly better in single-threaded and multi-threaded applications, and are much more competitively priced too. If you have sufficient cooling, these CPUs also have lots of overclocking headroom, with the Core i9-7900X, for example, being easily overclocked from its stock 3.3 GHz to at least 4.5 GHz, boosting its performance even further. You can check out the full range of Intel Core X processors on our website, and of course, let us know your comments below on what you think of the new Core X series.